say. Rolling. Very big thrill for me. Very big thrill. How are things in Toronto? Things in Toronto are lovely. The weather's getting much better, and uh, we're, we're having a good time there. How's the monarch of theatres? Uh, oh, we could talk theatre for a long time. It's no, how is the monarch of theatres? The monarch of theatres? No. Stratford. No, Royal Alexander. The Royal Alex. You know what? It's had Mamma Mia in there for a long time, so it's time to get it out and move something else in there. Yeah. But we've got hairspray now. We've got a lot of good stuff happening right now, but we need to talk about Troy because... I have to tell you, sir, you were fantastic in this movie, really. And I was wondering when you got the script and when you read it, was it overwhelming at all to you? It was one of... Uh, one. Uh, I can tell. It happened to me a long time ago. I can usually tell when the script is any good by the envelope. Okay. And I know if the script is going to be rubbish by the envelope. I don't know how this happened or when it happened, but I can tell. Now, this envelope looked not too bad at all. And I read it and I was just said, when do we start? And it's a is, superb script. And what does the envelope have to look like? Ah, it's... Is it, it a secret? It, no, 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 no. It changes its shape. It changes its color. It changes its... It's a... Uh, I can spot it. Now, when you started to prepare for Priam, was there any particular intensity, anything that you did special to play him? Because I just think it looks so natural. No, I just depend on the script. I sound like John Houston. I just depend <laughs> on the script. <laughs> you were so bad. I, like, like I say, I mean, just playing the emotion of this father. Where do you have to go to play a guy like this? Into my imagination. So, expand for me a little bit, because where All do you right, find this right, imagination? Well, 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 when, when Horatio says to Hamlet, look, the dawn in russet mantle clad creeps o'er the brow of yon high western hill. Well, he's not looking at the dawn creeping over yeah. yon high west. He's looking at Charlie the prop man in the corner. <laughs> That's what you do. You go inside yourself, into your head, into your imagination, into your... And uh, our feelings are prompted by imagination. Did working on this take you back to the epicness of, of Lawrence of Arabia? It must have taken you back. Um, I'm asked this a lot, and I can't find any comparison whatsoever. Really? Other than this, it is an epic, and an epic by definition is the story of a man or men, either from fiction or, or history, who are put into extraordinary circumstances. Mm -hmm. Were you ever amazed at how Wolfgang Peterson kept this together? Yes, and, and don't forget my heart and soul is with the actors and the actresses. Yeah. That's where I live. Yeah, Wolfgang was excellent, put it together very well indeed. But these boys and girls, they're the ones that, 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 that the company was important. Mm -hmm. I was working with old friends, who I'd known for many years, and completely new friends, Brad and Eric and little Orlando. And I didn't know Brian until this picture, but I knew Julian and Nigel, we go back for centuries. Mm -hmm. We became a very good company, and little Rose O'Byrne, who was enchanting, and Diane. Yes. We became a very solid company. We depended on each other. Once you started working with this cast, I mean, what impressed you? Brad Pitt, I thought, was phenomenal as Achilles, and I don't even think I would foresee to cast him as that. What impressed you about him? I'm impressed by Brad Pitt. I like the man. He's a proper man. I like his approach to his work. I like his modesty. I like his lack of pretension. And I like his ability to act. And I watched him as we did our very difficult scene together. Yeah. I watched him grow and deepen. That scene was spectacular, one of my favorite scenes of the film. I asked Wolfgang how he got through it without crying. Was it difficult for you to do? Well, we, were, we didn't have a tear left to shed after two days and a night, a pair of us. We were exhausted. You could see. It's, uh, it was spectacular. Were you impressed with the intensity of the actors and their, the choreography of the, of the fight scenes. Ah, I watch, um, I've watched the fight between Hector and Achilles over and over again. That's a real thing. Yes, yes, I was, I was, yes we use, um, uh, we use um, modern technology to help with things like a thousand ships, but that for me is a detail. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to something like uh, this fight, this dance of death, that's just two men, that's Brad and Eric, yeah. and boy, what a I watched them rehearse, I watched them practicing, and I watched the fight over and over again. That's something. No stuntmen, yeah. no tomato ketchup, 
no silly cuts, no clang, 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 just the thing itself. Yeah, it's very spectacular. And the, the pair of them look as though they just yeah. jumped off a Greek urn. Yes. Yeah. They're both gods. Totally amazing. Physically, both athletes. Yes. Brad's a good athlete. Eric is a rules player, an Australian rules player. You, uh, unfortunately, don't get to wear a miniskirt in this. Were you upset about that? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But I do get to wear my, my shift on nighty. I, look, I float around. I mean. <laughs> it must have been fun. It really must have been fun working on this movie. Yeah. Aside from the intensity and the seriousness of it, it must have been thrilling for you, I would think. No, oh, yeah. We're going to see more theater from you. No. Speaking, going back to... No, no. And why is that? I, you're brilliant. I did my... I did... I, I started... My life began for me in, in terms of acting at the Old Vic in London in 1953. I made my London... First London performance there in 1956. And then in, uh, in 1999 I was invited back there again to do any play I wanted. And I did a modern play, which I'm very fond of, called Jeffrey Bernard is Unwell. Mm -hmm. Made a film of it. Um, and on the first night, and one never knows, it seemed to have gone well. We were a good cast, we were a good company. And the, uh, the uh, curtain went up, it was time for the curtain calls. I went on and the entire theatre just jumped on its feet. And all I could think of was, go now. Oh, well, that's a nice way. It's a nice way to go. If you could pick a dream co-star right now, any script you wanted, any co-star you wanted, who would you love to work with? Right now? At this point in your career. Oh, dear, I can't think. There's so many, dozens of people. Yeah. Brad tells me I should work with um, um, uh, Angela Jolie, is it? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, yes. He tells me I must work with her. She's a spitfire. I'd like that. I need a twinkle in your eye. Yeah, that would be good. And I have to say, I would love to see you do another comedy because my favorite year was one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Thank you so much. Not at all.